Yes, it's another football Friday night, but because we are so deep in the playoffs, we had only two UIL games played tonight and one TAPS game played this afternoon. So let's first get to the UIL regional final games from tonight. In Class 6A, Division I North Shore taking on Atascacita. Third offensive play of the game, TD passes Spencer Hensley, and Atascacita goes up 7-0. But North Shore would respond by driving the ball downfield, and Caleb Bailey finishes off the drive by taking it around the left side. It's 7-all. And then a short while later, North Shore on the tack at the, again. This time, Xavier Owens getting the handoff, and he turns on the speed. And even though a defender has an angle on him, they won't catch him. North Shore led 21-7 at halftime, and the Mustangs are moving on after a 44-20 win over Tascosita. Class 5A Division I action, Peto taking on Hightower. The Panthers' motto could be the same as the one UPS uses. What can Brown do for you? That's Jacob Brown. He starts things off with a 75-yard scoring jump. Then in the second quarter, he turns around and goes 73 yards for another touchdown. When Jacob Brown is healthy, he's nearly impossible to stop. Just for good measure, he ran one in from 16 yards out before the end of the first half. Pato up 21-0 at that point. He had five TDs on the night. Pato moves on. The Panthers top Hightower 35-12. And this afternoon up in Waco in the Taps Division III state final, Cypress Christian defeated Lubbock Trinity Christian. Running back Cody Andrus gave the Warriors their only TD in the first half. It was big. It was a low-scoring affair. And Cypress Christian wins it 16-7 for the school's second state football championship. They won their first title back in 2017. So congratulations to Cypress Christian. And that's just a taste of all of the playoff highlights we'll have for you tomorrow night in our Inside High School Sports Show. I'll have highlights from more games along with feature stories and interviews as we spotlight the Houston area high school sports scene. That's tomorrow night at 11 following our late newscast.